Hello folks, over the past two to three months I've been on the lookout for 32 different football sports from around the globe to help me with my 2018 World Cup match previews and match reviews. Now, over the past few weeks I've actually hit that number and in fact exceeded it. In fact, I've probably got closer to 40, maybe even 45 different people that have come forward. So first and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you guys that have come forward. But it's actually left me in a bit of a pickle because I could only use one person from each country for each of the previews and each of the match reviews. But I've actually come up with a bit of a scheme, a bit of a, a brainwave. And what is that? There's actually a match previews extra time. So Brazil take on Switzerland in the opening match and I'm joined here live with our Brazilian representative. He is here. I'd like to say hello to the world and maybe introduce yourself. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm Carlos, I'm from Brazil and I live in Brazil. I am a football fan like in other Brazil. I was born in 1990 and Brazil won the 1994 USA World Cup, but I just remember the 1998 World Cup. I saw Brazil losing to France. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, that was a, a shocking one. I think Brazil were the favourites. In that one. So, okay, Brazil's World Cup adventure is about to begin. Now, you've got uh, Switzerland, Croatia, no, Switzerland, Serbia, and Costa Rica in the group. Now, which game must Brazil win to keep their dream alive? Oh, man. Brazil have to be first in our uh, first in group because uh, Germany are in the next group and um, no. Nobody want to face Germany in the first playoff game. Uh, Brazil have to win the three games. <laughs> That's right, they do. They need to avoid playing up against Germany. Nobody wants that. Uh, so, in your opening match, Brazil take on Switzerland. Now, do you have anything to, to, that worries you about Switzerland? Uh, I have no idea. They score the... the the match, with them. because of, uh, I, I'm not know nothing about Switzerland. <laughs> so, so you 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 expect Brazil to to be okay against Switzerland? Okay, so let's have a look at um, if, uh, the rest of the group. Now, if you if you could choose one player from one of the other three sides, just one, who could you pick? Who would you pick to play for Brazil? Oh man, absolutely, Navas. Oh yeah, good, good, good choice. Costa Rica goalkeeper mm -hmm. because he is uh, the real Madrid goalkeeper. Yeah, and I, I am very fan. Big fan, big fan of uh, Madrid, big fan of Navas. Okay, what about if we went back in, back in time and we took a, a Brazil player from the past? Obviously, you could choose Pele, but uh, if you were more anyone more recent, if you could bring somebody from Brazil's past to play. For 2018 Brazil, who would you who would you choose? Oh man, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, of course. Goal machine. Yeah. Everybody remember the 2000 World Cup. He played very good, and Ronaldo is the greatest. He was. He was a phenomenal, phenomenal player, and uh, yeah, he was a goal machine. Okay. So we have, well, we can't, unfortunately, we can't choose Ronaldo because he's too old now. But Brazil have picked the 23 players to represent them in the World Cup. Who's in your starting 11? Who's going to play for Brazil in the opening game? Okay, the 11, goalkeeper Alisson, uh, defensor Miranda, Thiago Silva, Marcelo, Danilo. Uh, midfield, Casemiro, Fernandinho, Paulinho, Coutinho, and uh, the striker, Gabriel Jesus, and Neymar. Deadly. That's a deadly, a deadly 11. I think, uh, I think they are favourites. I think Brazil are favourites to win it. And that will be, what, six, six uh, World Cups if they go on and win it. Um, now, what about a cheeky uh, a prediction for yourself? What do you think is going to happen? Final score between Brazil and Switzerland. The final score, two nothing. Two nothing. Nice and easy. Nothing too uh, ambitious. 
Okay, what about the other game? There is one other game going on in that group, Costa Rica versus Serbia. What, who do you think will win that game? Okay, man. Uh, one nothing Costa Rica. One nothing Costa Rica. So at the end of this uh, weekend of football, do you think Brazil and Costa Rica will have three points? So uh, interesting little group that will take up, uh, take some shape. Anyway, so what about a last minute uh, motivational speech for Brazil? Like a last minute, give them some of your energy. Just tell them what you think. Okay, in Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Ok, é isso aí galera, a nação brasileira, é uma nova Copa, a gente tem que esquecer o passado e partir para frente e trazer o nosso, fazer o nosso time campeão de novo, em inglês now. Oh, okay. lovely. So, uh, we have to forget the past and it's a new time and we have to be our team great and champion again. Yes, that's right. He's said it from the from the Brazilian superstar's mouth. Here he is. So, okay, perfect. Now, hopefully, we can get some reaction from you after the game when Brazil win against Switzerland. So, hopefully, we'll see you again then. Okay. Now, you've heard a little bit what I've had to say about the Brazilian game, but what about the Brazilian fans themselves? I've actually got one live on the phone via, via Facebook. Here she is. Come on in. Uh, introduce yourself to the world. Let them know a little bit about you and uh, maybe something interesting, something quirky. Hi, I'm Andressa. Um, I love about sports. Uh, I've always been connected with it. Uh, when I was a child, I used to play uh, karate and Aikido, but I also danced ballet. But I think soccer was always my most passion. Uh, so when my brother was a kid, I used to like to play with him. He doesn't like it that much, but all the matches, like he was with his neighbors, and then I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in the team. He said, he didn't like too much, but I was there. Uh, my team in Brazil is Sao Paulo. Um, so I have been allowed to the stadium, and uh, I love Ray. He played on the World Cup in 94. Okay, so let's switch gears now. Let's talk about the uh, 2018 World Cup in Russia. Now, Brazil opened up up against uh, Switzerland, um, but they also have Costa Rica in their group and Serbia. Now, uh, if Brazil had to, obviously, they are the favourites, but if they had to win one game from this group to make sure that they keep their dream alive, which game would it be and why? Oh, for sure, it would be Serbia. I think it's the strongest uh, team in the group. And it's the last one, and it's nice because Neymar would, would be like getting better and better. We hope so, at least. And then uh, I think it's, a, it's important, most important uh, match. Okay, but uh, you do open up your campaign up against Switzerland. Now, what concerns you about Switzerland? Uh, I think all, all the teams they they are concerned. Like it would be the first. Uh, Play the, the first match that Neymar will play uh, the whole, uh, the full time. Uh, so like all of them are concerned, and, and it's the first thing, the first time a lot of players are going to play in a World Cup. Uh, so they're really anxious and trying to show a lot of our soccer. I don't think really Switzerland is a a, a worry as a, a team. I don't think they're that that strong. So it's more concerned about our uh, players. Mm -hmm. Very good point, very good point. Okay, so uh, um, obviously Brazil are loaded with very good players, but if you could have a magic wand and uh, pick another player from one of the, your opposition within your group, who would you who would you steal and bring them into the Brazil team? Oh, my team from Serbia. Oh, look at that. Yes, uh, that's a good pick. Very defensive-minded. It could add maybe a little bit of extra strength for the Brazilian team. But hey, also Brazil, obviously... They've won the World Cup many, many times, uh, five times, I think it is. Um, if you could go back in time, obviously, the, and, and, and pick a player from Brazil's past, and, and obviously in their prime, and bring them into the current squad. We're going to exclude uh, Pele. You can't pick Pele, but somebody else. If you could pick somebody else, who would you, who would you choose? Yeah, I wouldn't choose Pele because I think it was another time. I, I think the, the, the type of playing changed a lot. Uh, so I definitely pick Ronaldo. Uh, he won a lot of uh, World Cup, and 
every time. Like, doesn't matter if he's in a good shape or not. He's just amazing. He, he was a goal scoring machine. I do remember him. Okay, but unfortunately, Brazil can't do that. They have their 23 players. Now, who's going to be in your starting 11 for the opening match against Switzerland? Uh, Neymar, for sure. Okay, well, what about the rest of the team? Do you have the rest of the team? Uh, who else you'd like to see play? Uh, Gabriel Jesus, I think he's, he's very young and uh, he has this opportunity to be in the World Cup. Uh, he, he's a very nice promise from Brazil. Okay, yeah, he has got future, uh, very good potential. Okay, what about, obviously, uh, uh, there's, there's two games going on in that group. What about a score prediction between Brazil and Switzerland? What, what do you think the score is going to be? Uh, I think this one to be like, Two to zero to Brazil. Two zero to Brazil. Okay, obviously the other two sides are playing Costa Rica against Serbia. What do you think the scoreline is going to be there in the other game? I think Costa Rica will be easier, so I'm betting on four to one. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> let's see. And Serbia, I think two to one. Okay, all right, perfect, perfect. Now obviously we're getting closer to the match itself. If you can give Brazil a bit of a motivational speech just to get them over the line, make sure they get the result for you. Uh, I think they, they should believe in themselves uh, and believe in their partners because the guy that is beside them is the best on what he does and he is the best on what he does. So if they're together, they're better and they're great. And we're Brazilian, we love to have fun and play soccer. So that's it, have fun and win this. World Cup. Yeah, win it, win it again. You know, six times that will be if they manage to do it. But anyway, so the match does take place uh, over on the next few days. What day is it? It takes place on the sixth, uh, the seventeenth of June, which is Sunday. So hopefully we can get some reaction from you when Brazil sticks six goals past Switzerland. Is that all right? Of course. Perfect, perfect. But anyway, we'll let you go for now. Thank you. So you've heard a little bit what I've had to say about the match. Now, what you really want to hear is what the fans are saying. And I'm joined here, right here, right now, with my Brazilian representative. Say hello to the world. Introduce yourself. Maybe tell them something a little bit bizarre about yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Thiago. Uh, I'm the Brazilian guy. Uh, uh, yeah, that's just me. Let me think about something to say. <laughs> Well, tell them where you are. You're in like, some <laughs> hotel, some place in the world right now? Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm currently in the US. Uh, I'm an engineer, so I travel a lot. Uh, I work in the maritime field, so I travel a lot wherever uh, you have ports and boats and whatnot. So I'm currently in Louisiana, in the US, uh, doing a service here. And I guess I'll be here for the, the entire group stage, so yeah. Wow. Oh, well, well, hopefully they got uh, got to make sure they they cover the Brazilian game. So make sure you get a good good spot in the bar yeah. or wherever it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, the the football or, uh, or soccer is not a uh, very popular thing here. <laughs> that is that so, uh, is true. Before before I left home, yeah, before I left home, I, I set up a VPN so I can connect to my home network, and from there I can uh, stream from a Brazilian site. Good thinking. <laughs> good thinking. Just make sure. I've actually done the same. I'm actually based in Pennsylvania and I can try and get the old English coverage because the USA coverage is okay, but it's not like home. Anyway, so um, Brazil are in a group with uh, Serbia, Switzerland and Costa Rica now. A lot of people tipping Brazil to yeah. go all the way and win it. But first and foremost, they've got to get out of the group stage. Now, which game must Brazil win if they're going to get out of the group stages? I think the first game is always the most important one, and the, 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 everyone's uh, nervous, it, it, it's very tense. And uh, our, our first game, I think, will be the toughest one, because Switzerland is known for very, uh, having a very uh, tough defense. And they, they, uh, they, they don't concede goals very often, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it'll be a tough game. And uh, we, just, we just had a friendly match today against Austria, they are, they are also a very defensive team. Uh, but our, our attack did well, and uh, we managed to get past them uh, three times. Yep. So hopefully that will happen against us as well. Yeah. I think they have yeah, similar sort of styles. I think you're right. I think you touched on it. But obviously you do open up your uh, your World Cup against Switzerland. What worries you the most about Switzerland? 
the other defense, definitely. Uh, I mean, if they can manage to hold the, the, the Brazilian attack for the entire match and, and make him score as far once or twice uh, in a counter attack, then yeah, it's a, it will be a very bad start. Uh, Costa Rica was uh, was a, a team that uh, did very well uh, on the last World Cup, so I would wager that the they they would be one of the contenders for for a place in the knockout stage. Yeah. So yeah, if we don't if we don't start well, uh, we might have problems. So yeah, a win against Switzerland would be would be ideal. Yeah, you got to get off to the start the the the, the correct footing. I think all the other countries in your group. Expecting to get beat by Brazil, so I think they're if they get something, they'll be happy if it's just a point. But yeah, I think Brazil are looking to win each and every every one of the games. Anyway, so let's say obviously Brazil. Yeah. Sorry, uh, yeah, uh, Brazil obviously loaded with really good players from the goalkeeper all the way through to your to your forwards. But if you could take somebody from one of your opposition, whether it's Switzerland, uh, Serbia. Or Costa Rica, if you take one player and add them to your squad, who would it be? Yeah, uh, see, we have we have a very very strong attack, uh, and the, the defense is not bad as well. But we don't. Uh, there's a player on Switzerland that uh, the, the, their captain is a, is a very experienced player, uh, Liv Steiner. So yeah, I, I, I would go for him you know, to have that uh, experienced uh, player on the back there just to to motivate the team. It would improve, yeah, it would improve your back line. And yeah, he is, he's a wise old man, though. He is getting on a bit, but I can see where you're going with that one. Okay, but what about if you could go back in time and take somebody from Brazilians, uh, Brazil's football history? We're going to exclude Pele, because everybody, you know, he's probably one of the greatest players, if not the greatest player <laughs> ever. But if you could take somebody else yeah. from Brazil's history and stick him in your squad, who would it be? I guess Ronaldo. Ronaldo was, was a very good striker, and uh, actually, yeah, and, we, and we don't really have a player like Ronaldo now. I mean, we have Gabriel Jesus, and he's very, very quick. Uh, but Ronaldo, when we won, we won the World Cup in 2002, he was a tank. You know, mm -hmm. it was a it was a very good striker. So, he would, I think he would be a very good addition to this team. Perfect. That's a. Uh... So wise old choice, I love Ronaldo way back when. But unfortunately, you are stuck with the 23 players that are going to Russia. Now, how about your starting 11 for the opening game against... Oh, who are we playing? Sorry, my bad. Who are you playing? You are playing Switzerland. So uh, unfortunately, you are stuck with the 23... Yeah, you play Switzerland. So unfortunately, you are stuck with the 23 players that are going to Russia for Brazil. Who is in your starting 11? For the opening game against Switzerland, uh, Alisson is the goalkeeper. He's reliable. He's, he's been there for a while now, so that that's the the good the, the best choice. Uh, Ederson has been uh, very uh, been well praised in, uh, in Europe, but he's not well known in Brazil. And yeah, he's not still the, the player that people would rely, uh, the, the keeper that people would rely on. So I, I would talk with Alisson. And then on the back, uh, the the right wing. Unfortunately, uh, Danny Alves was was touched on the team uh, due to an injury. So yeah, it, it it really is a shame that he's not playing, but it is what it is. So it's Danilo now, and he's a good player. Personally, because it's sports Corinthians, uh, I would like to see Pagner there, uh, the Corinthians player. But yeah, I don't think he'll. Uh, he, He's not as uh, as skilled as, as a hero, so I, I think he'll be on the bench. And then uh, on the defense, we have Thiago Silva and Marquinhos, uh, and uh, sorry, Thiago Silva and Miranda starting now. Um, they're both uh, now rather old players, but very reliable ones. I think that's the the, the best choice uh, for defense as well. Marcelo is. Uh, is there's nothing to be discussed about that. He's the the owner of the of the left wing, mm -hmm. and yeah, unless he's injured or or something happens, he'll be there for all the games. And uh, then in the middle, uh, we have Casemiro. Casemiro is very good. He's been playing very well for Real Madrid. Uh, Paulinho. I think. Uh, 
Is it Miru, Fernandinho? Fernandinho and Paulinho, yeah. Those, uh, I think those are the um, the three that should be uh, guarding the back there. I mean, the, the back of the midfield. Uh, and then on, on the attack, uh, yeah, it's really uh, no brainer. It's Felipe Coutinho, Neymar, Gabriel Jesus, and William. That's, uh, that's the team. Very, very tasty eleven, and I'm sure a lot of the other countries would be would be jealous, envious of just having one of those guys uh, on on their on in the team. So uh, obviously, you kick kick off against Switzerland. What is what's the final score going to be between Brazil and Switzerland? I'm betting on one new, yeah, one new for Brazil first. One new. Uh, just... They have they have a very tight defense. Uh, yeah. It is, it's, it's the first game, it's the opening game, it's normally very tense, uh, and they have, they have a very strong defense, so I'm betting one new on a very nervous game. Okay, also, also in your group you've got Costa Rica, they are taking on uh, Serbia, um, what do you think is going to happen in that game, final score? Uh, I would say Costa Rica 2-1. Costa Rica to win two one. Okay, um, so that would that would make this group a little bit interesting. You give Costa Rica hope, uh, knock the spirits a little bit of Serbia. Okay, what about obviously the, the games are still a few days away, especially for 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 your group. Yeah. But how about a motivational speech for Brazil as they kick off their tournament? The, the World Cup is something special, and all the players that are there, they they, they really are looking forward to this. <laughs> I guess my motivational speech would, would do very little to the, to the, the spirit they already have. Uh, but uh, I, I really hope they, they go there and, and, and really do their best to, you know, to honor the, the, the shirt they're wearing. Because uh, it's a lot of history in there. So, yeah, we're just hoping they try their best. You know? Yep, yep. There is a lot of history. and uh, But Brazil are one of the favorites. And I, and I expect them to be in at least the last, well, definitely last eight. Possibly last four should be even in the final. But anyway, a lot of football to be played between then and now. So, uh, but anyway, we'll let you go for now. But hopefully we can get some reaction from you from the match. Obviously, you're in Louisiana. So hopefully we can get, get a hold of you uh, again for the next time. But uh, so until then, we'll let you go. Speak to you soon. Yeah, all right, thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, if you're from one of the 32 participating countries at this summer's World Cup and you want to help me out with a match preview or match review, just let me know in the comments section below and I'll reach out to you and see if we can make it happen. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you are interested in that Cast the Cat app, you want to hit that button right there. It'll send you over to my WordPress site where you can find a downloadable link. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that magical button right there. This is your one-stop shop for the 2018 World Cup. I've also got old previews and reviews that you can check out down there. And also let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Whack them in the comments section below. And I will see you all very, very soon.